Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room? My husband, 34M, and me, 32F, just had our first child today. We were in the delivery room together, all was going well, I was in a lot of pain, but he was really supportive. The midwife was asking us questions about the baby etc. in between contractions just to help me ease my mind a little. Then she said if we are excited about the pregnancy being over and I said that yes, because it's been hard for me. My hispan snorted and said, for me too, she was so difficult, midwife tried to change the subject, but I asked my husband what the f he means by that, and he said that he is happy it's over and he will get his wife back in, the hormonal mess is over. I was so hurt and told him to please just leave the room. He said he's not going anywhere, because his child is being born here. I yelled at him to get the f out and he was pissed of, called me a nasshole for making him miss his kid's birth and stormed off. He hasn't been back to see our daughter, he is supposed to come later today. Aida? It's unbelievable the number of posts saying that she should just tolerate whatever he says because watching someone else give birth is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a man. Well, if it means that much to him, he could have behaved himself like a supportive partner and kept his stupid, insulting and demeaning jokes to himself. Pregnancy is hard and any man who can't give his wife the respect she deserves for what she has done shouldn't be in the delivery room. OP's husband must not know anything about women's bodies after giving birth. The hormonal mess won't be over for quite a while. He'll need to buckle up for the ride or get out of there permanently. Not the asshole. Full stop. You get to choose who's in the delivery room. Just like with sex, you can always change your mind, too. He said that he is happy it's over and he will get his wife back and the hormonal mess is over. He hasn't been back to see our daughter. He is supposed to come later today. Couples counseling, as soon as you're healed up and are more comfortable physically. Because for one thing, the hormonal mess isn't over, and secondly, way for him to make pregnancy and birth all about him. Not the asshole. You just grew a human. You just birthed a human. He had an orgasm and held your hand. In no way are those comparable efforts. He said something cruel, inexcusable, and wrong. He has a lot of apologizing and behavior change ahead. Insist on counseling, because that was an off-fill thing to say. I hope there is someone you can call. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Look. He said what now? I was with my wife for all our deliveries and everything she needed, she got. Your dude is on thin ice. Not the asshole. Boy is he in for a surprise when he finds out the hormones don't magically go back to normal after you give birth. You're not the asshole, op. I hope he learns something from this and becomes more supportive and less judgy. Am I the asshole for telling my son to cancel his wedding? My son is getting married and he said that I have to come alone to the wedding, not bring my husband, or I can't come at all. Here's my backstory. I've, 49M, spent my 20s trying to convince me that I am a straight man. During that time, I got a girl, we were 24, pregnant, and we had a son together, now 25M. We were never serious, and I told her about my struggles with my identity already before we slept together. Young and stupid, not much to do about it. We didn't get married, but we did raise our son together. He spent every other week with me, and I have loved every moment of being his father. I met my now husband when I was 35. He is a great guy, and we have been married for 14 years. My son considers him his stepdad. My son's mom jokes about him being her gay best friend. They really are very close, and he makes me so happy. My son is getting married to his fiance in four weeks. Just last week I received the wedding invitation, but it didn't mention a plus one, so I just assumed my husband would get his own. He didn't, so I called my son's mom and asked her if she got a plus one invitation, and she said yes, she is married too. My son and his fiancé came over for dinner two days ago and I casually asked them about it. My son got a bit embarrassed and said that they aren't really inviting stepparents, just their parents. I said that okay, but his mom told me her husband is invited. His fiancé then said that they would just prefer to have a non-ideological wedding. My husband looked so shocked, and I was honestly just hurt. I told her that sounds a bit homophobic, to which she replied, I'm not a homophobe, I just don't want to deal with this at my wedding. And I was like, what do you mean? She said, well you know, it's a church wedding. I said, well you know, we won't burst into flames in the pew. She got upset and demanded they leave, and went to wait for my son in the car. My son was almost crying and he apologized to me. I told him I love him, and he should really cancel or postpone this wedding, because this woman is showing behavior that will only get worse. 
He called me a nasshole for interfering in his personal life. His mom says he's old enough to do what he pleases, but what they did to us is wrong. My father, no shock there, thinks I should just man up and be a father at the wedding. My friends say Bridezilla is the awe, but my brother said I am a nasshole for not respecting my son's wishes about the wedding. Aida? Your FDIL is clearly the biggest asshole here. Non-ideological? Like disinviting gay guys isn't ideology? Give me a break. That said, telling him to cancel the wedding before he asked your advice was probably a step too far for him. He's got a lot of thinking to do, and while postponing is definitely sound advice, he's not in the emotional space to hear it. So you're not the asshole, per se, but the comment was never going to be taken in the way it needed to be. I wish I had advice or guidance for you. You shouldn't have to deal with this. You're not the asshole the fiancé is. She's disgusting and homophobic. And the people saying, respect their wishes, etc. don't see the real issue. By not inviting your husband it's showing that they don't accept your relationship. Your son could have and should have fought harder for you. Your son is the arsehole if he is going along with this. He never even had the decency to discuss it with you before the invitations went out. He's marrying a bigot and is validating her bigotry. You'll be excluded from all future events too if they have kids. I would refuse to attend without my husband. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I honestly don't see how people can just turn a blind eye to shit like this. Oh hey I find your dad's loving, consensual relationship, insert negative term here, and I don't want to see that at our wedding. Yeah sure. I'm a colossal idiot who doesn't see the endless arguments and family conflict coming. Not the asshole, as a member of the Alphabet Mafia, LGBT people existing and having families isn't ideological. Wanting to pretend LGBT people don't exist is. This woman just showed how she views her potential in-laws, because will she also want, non-ideological, birthdays, anniversaries, baby showers, and more? She also showed how she will likely view her future kids if they end up being non-straight or non-cis. Delaying the wedding for your son's sake is a good advice because he needs to be sure he wants to marry someone that thinks like this. Not the asshole but your son and his fiancé sure are. Am I the asshole for drinking a half gallon of milk at my sister's wedding? Okay I know this sounds pretty fucking absurd but this is genuinely something my family is fighting about. I quit drinking four months ago and my oldest sister Emmy's wedding was last weekend. My younger sister Sarah has been really supportive of me getting sober and she actually packed me a little cooler bag of non-alcoholic drinks for the wedding when she knew there would be an open bar and wanted me to have other options. She's 15 and doesn't have a car or anything yet so she just packed this bag with drinks from around the house. But it was still sweet. Anyway, at the wedding, I look in the bag and there's a few iced coffees, a few juices, and a half gallon of milk. Now, she knows me a little too well. I drink milk with pretty much every meal, I know it's a little weird for an adult but what can I say, I like it. So I poured myself some when everyone else was drinking alcohol. And I guess I was feeling nervous and a little tense being in a group where most people were drinking heavily for the first time since I've gotten sober, so I kept fidgeting and nervously drinking from my cup. Honestly a lot like how I'd compulively drink alcohol in the past. Before I knew it my uncle was like, damn you just drank all that milk? and he was pointing out the empty bottle. I was like, damn, guess I did, and my uncle started calling everyone's attention to that? Which was kinda embarrassing because I'd just been doing it to avoid liquor. But I guess it became a running joke among everyone there, like people just started talking about it? IDKY, it honestly doesn't seem that interesting to me. But anyway, the day after the wedding, Emmy confronted me saying that she didn't appreciate the stunt I pulled. I was confused and she said that the herd I drank a gallon of milk and didn't puke. I said it was a half gallon. She didn't find that funny and was convinced I was doing it as a joke. She doesn't believe me that I wasn't trying to draw attention or play some dumb prank. Like even as a prank it makes no sense. What's funny about drinking a slightly weird amount of milk? It's kinda boring. But my parents are taking her side and think I did something shitty. Am I the asshole for drinking a half gallon of milk at my sister's wedding? Not the asshole. First, congratulations on your sobriety. That's awesome, and how cute of your sister to support you in this way. I literally can't understand the reaction of your sister and your parents. Maybe sarcasm is your friend here? Yes, it is true. You got me. I planned out all the ways I could ruin your wedding and determined that drinking some milk with dinner would be the most exciting and dramatic. 
Not the asshole. Your family seems full of inconsiderate assholes except your younger sister. That kid is cool. If your fam knew about your sobriety issues, they really should be able to process this and how harmful it can be to draw attention to your drinking of non-alcoholic drinks. Fuck them. Fuck your uncle for making a big scene of it. Fuck the bride for being a jerk after the fact and fuck your parents for not listening to you. Those fucks should be supporting and encouraging you in staying sober not shooting you down for doing what it takes to stay on the wagon. Not the asshole. I'm a little perplexed as to why there weren't any non-alcoholic drinks provided to the point that you and your underage sibling felt the need to pack some? If this is real, congrats on four months of sobriety. I'm proud of you. Not the asshole. Congratulations on your sobriety. Give them this to chew on. You could have drank alcohol. You could have gotten stupid drunk. You could have made a huge drunken ass of yourself at the wedding. You could have done all of this and really embarrassed your family. You didn't. You drank milk. Edit. Thanks for the award. Not the asshole what is wrong with these people. Not the asshole. Your family is bonkers. They should be proud and happy for your sobriety instead of picking this, really weird. Hill to die on. But your little sister is an absolute doll for supporting you. Am I the asshole for my response after a guest told me to, sit on his lap? I, 31-year-old female was invited to an event via my friend. Won't get into details about it but I found out last minute that my friend couldn't come so I went alone since I was really looking forward to seeing the atmosphere and enjoy a bit after working all week. So I arrived to the event a bit late not gonna lie. Guests were already seated and there was already someone talking to the mic. I stood there in the corner looking for an empty chair. Suddenly a guy in his 30s, I think, waves for me. I look closer thinking he must have had an available chair next to him or something but he then as I was approaching him he proceeded to pat his lap and tell me I could sit there. I was shocked and completely caught off guard. I freaked out from the inside but remained calm and loudly responded, no thanks but my ass is too big for your small lap. Suddenly Payope pause. Some in the back laughed which made the guy look red in the face. He mumbled something about just trying to mess with me, crack a joke and that there was no need for my uncivil, inappropriate comment. I ended up getting a chair from a gentleman in the second raw and remained seated till the event was over. As I was walking out a couple of ladies approached me asking about what happened and told me that my response was too inappropriate for this event and for saying it out loud? That's a but too far. I tried to cut the conversation but they told me my behavior was inappropriate and made the whole event look bad and embarrassed for a simple joke, attempt at teasing. I DKI went home feeling bad about it and guilty. Am I the asshole? I don't understand how your comment is more inappropriate than his. Not the asshole. LMAOOOO not the asshole. Guy was trying to sexually harass you and got put in his place. Silence plays into the hands of the perpetrator. You weren't inappropriate the misogynist with the lap was. You were just an agent of cause and effect. Not only are you not the asshole, you did the world a service and my own day is immeasurably better for knowing how you outed that bastard. Not the asshole. But the women who came to blame you are huge assholes. It enrages me so much that a woman is even more misogynist than the stupid man itself to blame you for doing the right thing. Dot. You did good. If this would happen in Europe today it could get nasty for the event organizers if it comes to media. Not the asshole. What was inappropriate was his behavior. What was inappropriate was those ladies shaming you and not this man. How you responded was completely appropriate and called him rightly out. Please don't feel guilty you stood up for yourself and for that you should be exceptionally proud green heart. Not the asshole. I'm not sure what type of event considers calling over a stranger to invite her to sit on your lap is socially acceptable, but declining the offer is considered poor behavior.